Hi everyone and welcome to Chemistry with Kat. Today we'll be learning about Avogadro's number. This video will cover everything from who Avogadro was, what the number is, and how to use it. I encourage you to stay to the end because I have some trick questions that usually come up on tests and exams and I don't want you to get it wrong. Let's do it! Emidio Avogadro was an Italian scientist. He lived from 1776 to 1856. He's actually most famous for his work on gases. He was one of the first people to figure out the relationship between volume, pressure, and temperature when it comes to gases. He actually has a gas law named after him called Avogadro's Law, but we won't get into that today. You'll see it in the gas unit. He was also one of the first people to figure out that a molecule could be made up of something even smaller. At that time, they didn't know, but they were talking about atoms. It wasn't until a hundred years later that Niels Bohr came around and discovered the atomic model. Avogadro's number is the number of molecules, atoms, or ions in one mole of a substance. Now, if you're unsure what a mole is, I'm going to link my video on moles, mass, and molar mass here. But for a quick review, a mole is our unit of measure in chemistry. I always try to think of baking. When I try to measure flour, I wouldn't say I have a thousand little specks of flour. I would just say I have one cup of flour. The same thing goes for chemistry. I say I have one mole of a substance. Talking in moles allows us to talk about chemistry in everyday terms. Because remember, we're dealing with atoms, which are so small we can't even see them with the naked eye. Finally, I will tell you what Avogadro's number is. Because let's be real, that's why you're here. Avogadro's number is the number of molecules, atoms, or ions in one mole of a substance. That number is 6.022 times 10 to the power of 23. And the units are mole to the negative one. If you need a review on scientific notation, I'll link my video here. This number is massive. This is 10 to the power of 13 times the population of Earth. That's literally 1 million billion times the population of Earth. Thanks to Avogadro's number, we know that one mole of chlorine has 6.022 times 10 to the power of 23 atoms. We know that one mole of glucose has 6.022 times 10 to the 23 molecules. And we know that one mole of nitrate ions has, you guessed it, 6.022 times 10 to the 23 ions. Anytime we're switching from molecules to moles or moles to molecules, we use Avogadro's number. The equation goes like this. Moles times Avogadro's number equals the number of molecules or atoms or ions. Anytime you get a question where they give you either atoms, molecules, or ions, you need this equation because you can't do chemistry without finding the moles. So our first example asks, 0 0.450 moles of iron contains how many atoms? This is a dream question because all you have to do is plug it into the equation. So we know number of atoms equals the moles times Avogadro's number. 6.022 times 10 to the 23 mole to the negative one. That crosses out the units and we're left with 2.71 times 10 to the 23 atoms. There you go. Now you'll notice I have three significant figures here because there's three significant figures in the question. If you want a review on significant figures, I'll put the link here. So here we have almost the exact same question, but there's a little trick in it. Now they give us 0 0.450 grams of iron and ask how many atoms are in that. We have to find moles to find how many atoms. So if you remember, moles is equal to mass over molar mass. So the moles of Fe equals 0 0.450 
grams divided by the molar mass of iron, which is 55.85 grams per mole, which equals 0 0.008057 moles. Now we can plug that number into our equation. So the number of atoms will equal 0 0.008057 moles times Avogadro's number, 6.022 times 10 to the 23 mole negative, cross that out, 4.85 times 10 to the 21 atoms. You've made it to the end, and my trick question for today is which contains more molecules? One mole of water, H2O, or one mole of glucose? The answer is they both contain the same amount because they both are one mole, which means they both have 6.022 times 10 to the power of 23 molecules in them. Avogadro's number. And we're done. Now for homework, I'm going to leave you with this question. How many carbon atoms are in a 100 gram sample of aspirin? Tune into my next video to see how we solve this one. If you like what you learned today, please feel free to hit the subscribe button. You can also hit the little notification bell so that you're the first to know when a new lesson drops.